All coming up in just a couple of minutes. What was that term you used last week? Weather whiplash? Yes. I think that's what we're in for right now. We're about to do a full 180. This warmer weather that's forecasted to bring us rain. Well, it's expected to bring a lot of it. So we're going to head over now to WSFA First Alert meteorologist Tyler Seabury. Tyler, this Alabama weather roller coaster, it just keeps going. Yeah, you know, we can't just have sunny and 75 for a week, right? If it's not going to be frigid, well, it's going to be warm, but it's also going to rain. And we've got, as you just said, a good amount of wet weather overall over the next week and a chance of some thunderstorms. And we might squeeze out a couple strong storms. There's no big severe weather threats over the next seven days, which is always good news. We'll take rain when we can get it without a severe risk, but the severe threat is not completely zero. We'll have to watch it here, but we'll talk uh, the heavy rain threat that we certainly could have. And what we're using here is something called precipitable water, AKA how much water is in the atmosphere and the greens, uh, as you see on the scale, kind of in the middle there. So we're starting this tomorrow afternoon. The atmosphere is moistening up. So tomorrow there may be a shower as the atmosphere kind of gets juiced up, but look what happens by Wednesday. Dark green and yellow. Yeah, that's farther up the scale there. So there's a lot more water in the atmosphere. When you have more water, well, there's more water that can fall down as rain. Same thing for Thursday, dark green and yellow. And we'll stop this again Saturday here. You've got more of that dark green. So this isn't going to be the craziest, uh, heaviest rain we've ever seen, but the potential is certainly there for heavy rain when the rain falls, starting probably Wednesday late and going through Saturday. That's when the chance of rain and some heavy rain will be the highest. Total rainfall through Sunday morning. The state of Alabama It's going to get a good amount of rainfall here. You've got three to four inches for most of our area, and then you've got four, five, six, seven inches of rain off to our north and west. A lot of water coming, and there could be some flooding concerns if heavy rain moves over the same spots over and over again. How about that severe risk? So we're using something called our tornado threat. And essentially what this does is it looks at ingredients for severe weather and says, what is your risk of tornadoes or severe weather? This is Wednesday. So notice there's a small threat out in Mississippi, nothing in Alabama. Thursday, that very small threat comes into Alabama. So could we see a couple stronger storms? It's possible, but right now the risk is very low, as you see on our scale. Then Bethany, Saturday, we may get a cold front that comes through that could up the risk of a couple stronger storms a little bit more. So that's something we'll also watch over the coming days. Yeah, we'll be paying close attention to that, Tyler.